glance, you might think that this Asus VivoBook 14 is just a regular laptop. But if you think that, then you are making a mistake because beneath the surface is some tech that makes this particular VivoBook very different. So when it comes to buying a new laptop for study or for work, let me take a guess. You don't want to spend more money than you need to, but you do need it to handle the everyday tasks well, but it would be ideal if it was better than you need it to be. Well, if that sounds like you, you'll really like this VivoBook 14 for several reasons, which I'm about to show you, but there probably is one question you should consider. Is this particular type of laptop with this newer tech in it the right choice for you? Let's find out. This VivoBook's design is understated. It's not flashy, but it is rugged and Asus have designed it to meet the US military grade standard 810H. And this relates to shock resistance, vibration, altitude, and high and low temperature changes. And that does make this laptop London bus proof, which is a good thing. The weight on the 14 inch model is just 1.49 kilogram, and the 16 inch model is actually 1.88 kilogram. As you can see, this laptop is reasonably thin. And when you flip it over, you'll see there's a rubber strip that runs right across the back here. And this allows the laptop to be raised off of the surface. And this creates clearance for the fan right here and the heat vents right here. And also for the speakers down here at the front, which are Dolby certified speakers. And we'll come back to those. So one of the design aspects that Asus seem to be very proud of is the micro hinge design which allows this laptop to open up to 180 degrees, which does mean you can place it flat on a table, which is extremely convenient when it comes to showing stuff on the screen in this video. But also this can be great if you're sitting across the desk from somebody and you wanna show them a presentation. The keyboard design is super comfortable to use and the keys do have backlighting for when you're typing at night in a dark room. And they do have a nice bit of travel to them as well, which is always a bonus. Overall, it's a very satisfying keyboard and typing experience. The trackpad has a nice and large surface. Your left and right mouse clicks are recognized on the lower section of the mouse pad only. But check this out, smart gestures are recognized here. For example, a three finger swipe upwards on the trackpad brings up all of your backgrounding windows so you can quickly jump to any of those. And when you're using Windows Edge browser, you can use the Jedi swipe either left or right to go back and forward. When you pop the lid on the VivoBook 14, one of the first things you're gonna notice is the very interesting camera array and sensors at the top of the screen. And we will come back to those, but first let's talk about the display. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, 1920 by 1200 IPS 60 Hertz panel with 300 nits of peak brightness, which is pretty damn bright, making it very viewable on a bright sunny day. And there's a nice anti-reflective surface on this laptop, which you can notice down here on the bottom left corner, there's some bright studio lights in here. And you can see how it's kind of dealing with that. And even though this display won't impress any of you pro gamers out there, for a work or study laptop, the display specs here are quite reasonable for the price point and will be more than enough for most people. So the display here is good, but what you're really paying for with this particular laptop is its superpower. And it is in regards to that bit of tech that I mentioned in the intro of the video. So this version of the Asus VivoBook is an AI powerhouse and they officially call it an Asus Copilot Plus PC. The NPU on this thing, the neural processing unit, can perform 45 trillion operations per second. In tech speak, most people will refer to this as TOPS. So if you hear that said, just know that's in reference to a trillion operations per second. <laughs> so the NPU on this laptop handles all of its AI processing, but what does this mean for you if you do decide to go for a Copilot Plus PC like this? So I think the best way for you to think about Windows Copilot is your own personal on device AI. Right now, some of the features will work on device, so even without the internet, and then some of them do require the internet, but you do have a co-pilot button right here. When you push this, you can immediately start a chat with the co-pilot, ask it questions, brainstorm ideas, and even get some important advice. You know, stuff like this. And of course, it's AI. It knows what it's talking about. And of course, there is AI for Microsoft 365. So when it comes to writing documents or creating presentations or any of the stuff that you might do with Windows 
Office, it can help with that too. So if we go open up a document right here, you'll see the little co-pilot icon top right corner. Whenever you tap that, it just brings out your little AI assistant and it can help you with a bunch of different things like creating a summary of the document you're reading. You can expand on specific topics. You can practice for a difficult conversation together. For example, when the missus keeps turning the heating up to the maximum, even though the house is already like a sauna, maybe Copilot can help. So you get the idea there's a bunch of very useful tools within the software that you're probably already using for work and for study. So it's very, very useful. And you know, one of the first ever art apps that I played around with was Microsoft Paint and it is still here and it's actually more useful than it's ever been. Check this out. If we go into Microsoft Paint, it now has the Copilot built into it. You'll see the co-creator and the image creator right here. I'm gonna go to co-creator. Here you can literally just type in whatever you want and it will create images which can then be pasted into presentations or documents that you're working on. And I'm sure if you've ever made a presentation before, this could be super handy. And as you can see, it's created an image up here and we could just drop it into our artwork over here. And then check this out, if you want the art to be a bit more creative, you can turn the creativity all the way up and it adds a lot more detail to the image. And there we go, you can now pass this off as your own homework, but obviously, don't do that. Just use it for dramatic effect. So another really good use case for the Copilot AI on this device is within the Windows Edge browser. So if you're researching something, you're doing your homework and you've got a website open and you want to learn all of the important stuff about this website and get all of the key points from this web page very quickly, you can just hit the Copilot button up here and that will open up the Copilot and then straight away you can create a summary without having to read every single word on the web page. And I'm sure you can imagine how useful this can be. So you can kind of think of the Copilot as a study partner who can help you out with things. So if you want to expand on a topic, you can do that. If you want to scroll down a little bit, you'll see some more things that it can help you with. It has a bunch of different suggestions here, just like this unsolved mystery. And there's also a Copilot AI feature here called Click To Do, and that essentially works like Google's Circle To Search. So when you're browsing, you can just click on an image and you can search that using the AI. And then the AI will bring up a bunch of information about that photo that you've clicked on and provide more information or even prices in this case. So this is just skimming the surface of what the AI can do on this laptop. And Asus do have their own bit of AI software on here. It's a smart organization tool that can streamline all of the media on your laptop, making it run more efficiently and making things easier for you to find. And while we're talking about efficiency, this brings me very nicely onto the strongest attribute or one of the strongest attributes on this laptop it's performance and efficiency. You see, this VivoBook 14 is running on Qualcomm Snapdragon X processor. This one clocks in at 2.9 gigahertz. It's got eight cores, eight threads, and all of the graphics are handled by its integrated Qualcomm Adreno GPU. And this chipset is backed up with 16 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM and up to one terabyte of solid state storage. Put simply, the read and write speeds, the loading speeds, and the multitasking will be incredibly fast on this laptop. And in terms of graphics, you're probably aware of this already. This isn't a gaming PC. It is more of a productivity machine. But even with that said, the Adreno GPU can handle some light gaming. And I did benchmark this with 3D Mark software and it actually performed better than I expected. So yes, you can use it for some gaming, but ideally not when you're supposed to be working. But what might impress you even more about this laptop is the battery life and the overall efficiency of it. It can run for up to 16 hours continuously on a single charge. And that could be due to the 50 watt hour battery that it has combined with the efficiency of the Snapdragon X chipset. And it charges super fast too. So you can use the provided USB-C charging cable to get this laptop from zero to 50% in just 30 minutes. And there are two USB-C ports on board. Both of them can be used for charging and you can use a regular phone charger to charge at slower speeds if you forget your laptop charger. And both of these ports support 40 gigabits per second transfer speeds and can also be used as display ports. So you can actually run an extra two monitors off of this laptop just using these. But there's also a full size HDMI. So if you have an older monitor that doesn't have display port, you can just use a cable directly from here. And there are two USB-A ports as well. They are USB-A 3.2 up to five gigabits per second transfer speeds. And then of course, on the other side, we do have an analog 
audio jack for your headphones or speakers. And this amount of IO is fantastic because if you do need to expand your workstation, you can plug in a bunch of extra monitors directly into this, so you're not always working on the small screen. So here are a few more features that you need to know about. The built-in Dolby Atmos speakers are decent. I don't really get that sense of overhead speakers being present, but you do get some nice clarity and good audio separation here. And this type of audio is fantastic for conference calls. This laptop does use AI noise algorithms and it uses this so that it can pick out your voice very clearly even in a noisy room and Asus also have some adaptive dimming and lock algorithms which can save you a lot of power and auto detect when you're not in front of the laptop so not only does this save power but it also helps to improve your privacy if you do need to walk away from the laptop for a little bit and it can do this better than most due to the interesting camera array that I mentioned earlier in the video so there are several sensors here and as you can see these use Microsoft's hello face unlock feature which is super secure and can save you time and the headache of trying to type in your password each and every time so if you've ever locked yourself out of a computer before you'll probably love this feature I also really appreciate the built-in privacy slider here. It just gives you that added peace of mind. You don't want to be that guy or girl on a Zoom call who leaves their camera on once the meeting ends. <laughs> so this might help. So who is the Asus VivoBook 14 really for? Here's what I think. If you're studying or working in an office, this laptop has all of the tools that you probably ever need to be productive. Or if you're the type of person who works on the go, the impressive power efficiency will definitely benefit you. And if you are stationary when you're working, the IO can allow you to connect bigger monitors and several monitors, which means you don't always have to be working on the small screen. And then when you combine this very efficient processor with the 16 gig of RAM, it can slice through multitasking and productivity apps with ease. And it would be perfect for you, especially if you're interested in all of the AI advantages that this laptop has to offer, because that's what Copilot PCs are really all about. They're designed to level up your productivity game the intelligent way. And of course, if you want to, you can do a bit of gaming on it too, if you're lucky enough to have some free time from time to time. So let me know, would you consider switching to an AI powered Asus VivoBook from let's say a traditional laptop. Let me know in the comments and hopefully this video helped you. If it did, a little thumbs up would be appreciated. If you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man and I will see you in the next one. Don't be late.